I told you guys there's going to be a bunch of TTMs coming in, and I was not lying. We have 19 to show you today. These have come in over the past week, and there's some really cool ones. So uh, before I get started, I do want to talk about Shuffle Trades. If you want this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar signed card, uh, this is actually the hit trade for this month. All you have to do is go to ShuffleTrades.com, send an autograph card, and get another person's trade, and you may get the hit trade. So ShuffleTrades.com, just a fun little thing. It's kind of a guaranteed TTM for everybody every month. Um, okay, so I did have a few purchases I wanted to show you. This one's a fun one. Um, this is a guy you definitely don't want in the game at the end because his name is literally Scott Blewett. <laughs> so that's definitely going in, in the uh, unique name project for Project Goofball. Uh, next, we have a guy who just got Tommy John. And whenever a guy gets Tommy John nowadays and he's a stud pitcher, I kind of jump on the uh, opportunity to buy because his stuff goes down greatly. And Tommy John's a pretty solid surgery nowadays. So most likely this guy will come back and be just as good as he was. Uh, Tyler Glass now. Picked up this 86 that came out this year, throwback, for the throwback project. And then this rookie card on the 87. So really happy with those pickups. Just amazing prices right now on him. Um, next, got this archive card. Uh, I actually took it out of the slab because the slabs are actually magnetics, which are kind of pricey, and they fit better in the binder raw. So this is Andrew Jones, a guy who I think should probably be in the Hall of Fame. I think he'll eventually get in there, but uh, this is the Dodger legend, Andrew Jones. He played for 75 games for the Dodgers, so love that pickup. And then this one's a big one. I've uh, been wanting this guy, another guy who should be in the Hall of Fame, and I think he'll eventually get in there, uh, Kenny Lofton. I think he kind of get he gets overshadowed by Ricky Henderson because Ricky was a better player than him, but he just reminded me a lot of Ricky, um, just a little bit to a lesser extent, and a uh, great player back when I was growing up. All right, guys, I have a, <laughs> I have so many TTMs. I did have one failure, which was weird. I sent to Pat Gillick, uh, the Hall of Fame uh, general manager, and my cards were nowhere to be found, but he did write a note on the paper, so I'm thinking the cards just didn't make it back in the envelope, which sucks. Um, I guess I'll have to send again. I don't know, because I really need him. I'm trying to get as many Hall of Famers into the throwback project as possible, and he's one I need in there, and he's getting up there in age, so... Uh, yeah. So, moving on, uh, I'm just going to go, go randomly here. I have a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, here is one that everybody's been getting back. Mr. Jose Lind. So, sign the micro card nicely right there. He charges $1 per, if you don't know. And if you don't know, he'll write it on your letter. I noticed some people did not get the note recently, but I got the note. I'll show you at the end. So, uh, also sign these cards here. This is a Donner's 88. It's a subset, I think. And then this great Project Goofball card. He signed right on the dark spot, which I think he did on purpose, but it's him with the sword. I think you could probably send him a little more money and told him where to sign. He'd sign these in the, uh, the upper spot there. But that's okay. He's got two of those signed and this awesome pick of him in shades um, on the pinnacle card. So, love those. Uh, that was $1 per. But even if you pay the money, he always writes, next time, $1 each. So, <laughs> always nice to know. Thank you, Jose. Um, we'll go to another Jose who charges, I think, $5 per. This is on an ARC uh, project. Uh, it's on a Top Spin Favorites card. I actually already have this one signed, but I got an extra for trade bait. And then... Also have this Yankees legend, Jose Cruz, and he played a measly 38 games for the Yankees. It was actually his last team. So, pretty rare card. This uh, did not come out in a set. You had to cut this out of a Yankees-specific set that was uncut. So you actually had to hand cut this to, to get it. Um, this is an original card, but hard to get, so... Real happy to add that. That's his only Yankees card that was produced. I sent him a custom Yankees card last time. He decided to keep it. So I went ahead and sent him the one that was already made. Um, okay, next up we have Rookie of the Year in 1961, Don Schwal. And I sent this awesome custom card. This guy on eBay, he charges like 4 bucks a custom. But man, they're high-quality customs. Don Schwal. 
uh, blank backs, but the fronts look amazing. They're full-on cardstock. Um, signed the Rookie of the Year card, which is the reason I sent these 1972 Heritage. Um, they came out in 2021. There's Rookie of the Year, there is MVP, there's Cy Young, and then there's also World Series MVP. So I've been trying to get as many of those out as possible, and you'll see several in this stack over here. Uh, next we have, uh, oh, actually, he also sent this, inscribed to my daughter. So that was an extra he threw in. Very generous. Um, next, we have another Hall of Famer, Mr. Dave Van Horn, inscribed both to my daughter, like I asked. Uh, these are custom cards that I made. So on the 52 Tops design and signed in the box. So guys are getting better at signing in the box, which is awesome because those look great. So real happy to add those to the throwback project. Uh, this is an interesting one, and these are in no order. These are totally random because there's so many. I, I didn't put, put them in order. Uh, Brooks Robinson recently stopped signing. Um, I think he had a bad fall. Um, I'm going to send him a thank you card for signing for everybody over the years. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. Maybe th throw some money in there just for him to keep. Um, but he's been awesome to this hobby. He's one of the Hall of Famers that's been consistent and generous pretty much throughout th his entire career. Um he might have signed these before he fell because I've seen people get notes back, but I just got this back with no note. Um, signed on the 89 upper deck throwback there. So these are awesome. I'm trying to find more 89 upper deck throwbacks. They're kind of hard to find. Uh, there's only a few sets that have them. This one's awesome. Glove birds. So it's uh, Brooks and Cal. It'd be cool to get dual signed, but Cal's kind of hard to get. Um, and then this is an archive card that I actually didn't have. So, sign that one nicely there. Again, he was $10 per. Looks like he's done signing from what I've seen from other people. Um, so I hope he gets better. That's, uh, it stinks when people fall. And he, these guys have been so great to us. You really want to give something back to them. Uh, definitely don't swap them with request, with request right now. Hold your requests. Um, or just write him a letter saying thank you. Um, next we have... Jim Mora, he is uh, the legendary playoffs coach from the Colts. Signed this uh, 52 custom that I made. As you can tell, I'm into the 52 customs right now. And then I found uh, a great photo of him doing the playoffs face. I put it on a, another custom, so inscribe it to my daughter there. Playoffs? Didn't inscribe playoffs, though. That's fine. Um... Next, we have another Rookie of the Year, and the custom card that I was talking about, this is the same kind, but it was a colored border. It got dinged up pretty good, but it actually looks pretty dang cool. It looks like an actual vintage card because the edges got dinged up so bad. Uh, I'll show you this one first, the Rookie of the Year card. I described it to my daughter, 63, Gary Peters. And then here is the card that is a custom card, but... You know, the white edges got dinged up, so it actually looks vintage. I kind of like it dinged up, to tell you the truth. It gives it more of an authentic feel. So, uh, inscribed that one to my daughter also. That's a custom card, again. Uh, that was not an actual card made in 61, I think. No, 62. I forget what set design that was. Uh, next, we have another Rookie of the Year. Three of them, so far. Um, this is Tommy Helms. Signed the 72 throwback. Inscribed it to my daughter like I asked, and inscribed this custom like I asked. That's a 72 design also, so nice success there. Moving on, uh, let's see. Uh, this guy is $5 per. There's actually another card that he signed, but it's currently out to another player. So um, there was four cards here, but I'm going to show you three. These are from the archive set in 2001, which aren't really throwback cards. They're reprints, so... Um, here is one of the archive cards from 2001, and here is his rookie from the archive set. And then sign this Topps Fan Favorites card. So uh, that'll be trade bait. Okay, moving on. We have this one, which is awesome. Um, Doug Gwodes, I think that's how you say it. Gwodes, maybe. Um, his nickname was iChart. You heard me right, I chart. 
So this is going to go in Project Goofball. Both of these are. Uh, he signed the back of the Goofball card. Um, it's him and Smokey the Bear from the Padre set. And he signed the back. That's okay. That still counts. But then I got creative. I made a custom of a literal eye chart, and he signed the front of it. So that's amazing. Uh, both of those are going in Project Goofball. I love them to death. Um, thank you, Dave, for signing. Um, next, we have another purchase. This is Jim Perry, and he was the Cy Young winner. I forget which year, uh, but he signed the Cy Young 1972-2001 Heritage card. And then got this postcard signed. Postcard. <laughs> and then got a custom signed. One of those nice eBay customs. And also got this, which is Junior's Geriatrics. Of him as a little kid and a 2001 archive card so got several signed by him he's getting up there in age I wanted to get all of them done all at once um, so that was nice moving on I think this guy is one per this is Sid Monge Mong Monge I think it's Monge and described it to my daughter really nicely right there it's obviously a project goofball card because he's sitting there with Smokey the Bear I bought this whole set, and I'm trying to get as many signed as possible for the uh, th for the Project Goofball for my daughter. So, um, okay, next up, uh, this one's really cool. Uh, Mario Andretti signed a Legends card and two family racing cards. This one's actually numbered out of three ninety nine. Got dinged up in the mail, and then this one's not numbered. So those will go back out uh, to the other members of the family. And then signed a hit the deck card. So described it very nicely to my daughter there on the front. So I'll add that to the deck. I have a lot of hit the deck autographs at this point. Um, I don't know if I have a full deck yet. I'll have to check. Man, I have some big names here. Um, let's see. John Paxton got him back. Signed the numbered card. Man, my cards are getting dinged up like crazy in the mail. I don't know about you guys, but they are being rough on the edges of the... Uh, I don't know if it's the machines. I guess it would be the machines. But I uh, inscribed them all to my daughter. Uh, there's an All-American card. And then we have the Project cards. This is an archive card from 1992 of the 1983 throwback. And then we have this one, which signed on the back. Um, it is Juniors and Geriatrics of him as a little kid. Little big league, little basketball big leaguers signed it on the back. So, uh, nice success from him, though. Okay, uh, let's see. We got another Hall of Famer, Denny Matthews, broadcaster for the Royals. Signed that one perfectly right there with the Hall of Fame inscription. That turned out great. And did the same with this one with a blue pen and then inscribed in a different pen at the bottom. So those turned out great. Really happy with that. Um, got four more. I know I'm trying to buzz through these guys. Um, four of four from Brandy Chastain. Um, signed for my daughter's throwback project and signed two Ginters and two Customs. Uh, did not sign in the open area, but that's okay. Still turned out nice. That's her famous moment uh, at the uh, Olympic Games or World Cup. I can't remember if it was Olympics or World Cup, um, but signed the Ginter card. And this is actually uh, 2006 Ginter, which is the Ginter design that was actually reproduced. So they did the exact design from the old Ginters. So that qualifies for the throwback project. 2006 qualifies, and there are a couple designs that are pretty close in other Ginter years. And then some Ginter years are totally different than anything that was ever produced uh, in the throwback, so those don't count. But I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to check and see which ones are close enough to count for the Ginter throwbacks. Um, and then sign this Ginter, so doubles on that, and then sign this custom. So four four, real nice return from her. I think I only sent one Ginter card. Maybe I did send four, but I thought I only sent three. I may be mistaken. Oh boy, which one's to pick next? Okay, so we'll go with this one. This is a private address success. We actually interviewed this guy on the podcast, and he signed for my daughter perfectly. Um, he did sign in pen, but that's fine. The signatures came out decent for signing in pen. Signed the custom. 
David Mickey Evans, the director and creator of The Sandlot, also the narrator. Um, really cool guy. Loved interviewing him back in the day. Um, and also signed these two cards from the Heritage set. You can see the pins started giving out on this glossier surface. Uh, and then this one's a little bit better. So, signed a picture of Hercules. Or a card of Hercules. Real happy with that success. All right, these two, uh, this is a private address success. It's huge. Bob Costas signed this book plate here for my daughter to go in his book. And then signed this awesome custom here because he is a Hall of Fame broadcaster. So that turned out amazing. And that's a young Bob Costas. Look at him there. Awesome. And this last one, guys, um, this guy is a known signer. Like, he's signing great lately. He used to be kind of a bad, like, on and off signer back when uh, I first started collecting. But apparently he's pretty solid now. This is Mr. Joe Carter signing the Topps Fan Favorites card for the throwback set. Also signed the Pristine card. Get as many of those signs as I can. Um, and this one is just... A piece of history. I love this card so much. Uh, it is now dual signed by two guys that hit game-winning home runs in the World Series. Bill Mazeroski and Joe Carter. Look at that baby. That is just beautiful. I love that card. Uh, and that's obviously staying in my collection forever for my daughter. And, um, man, I just love it. That card is amazing. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, that's 19 TTMs. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out shopandtrades.com. And uh, you take care, all of you autograph addicts.